What's up guys, welcome back to another video, I hope you're all doing well today. Um, I, I suppose, uh, first of all, I'd like to uh, apologise for uh, being AFK for a little bit the last couple of days. I've uh, just been a very busy person, you know, it happens now and then. Uh, I've just had things going on with uh, with like work stuff, um, had to go out for like a, an after work event um, with my work lot, which meant I couldn't do anything that night. Um, I also started uh, moving my entire room around, so that involves uh, like repainting. Uh, I've ordered uh, a new bed for the first time in many, many years, um, which is bigger than my original. So I've had to kind of move my room around a bit to try and uh, <laughs> try and make some space. Um, I'll have to do that in uh, for a couple of times over the next uh, week or two, uh, just as things are arriving. Um, it's just uh, it's one of them things where I've been wanting to do it for years and years and years, and I keep putting it off, but. Uh, now is, is finally the time, you know, I just had a spare at the moment thought, yeah, fuck it, I'm just going to just gonna buy what I need and, uh, and start redecorating. Um, so today, um, I, well, I, I saw that uh, Pay released this, uh, the Renning gear um, with the, uh, the De Francesca replica. And I know that uh, Ryder's got a bit of hype about him at the moment, uh, as he's, uh, he's working his way through the ranks. Um, and I just thought it would be really fun to, uh, to place him for, for a race, really. Uh, I mean, I've done Deegan before. Um, which everyone seemed to enjoy um, and I will apologize I know someone's gonna make the comment that the actual bike skin that I've got right now is the uh, the 450 version um, I could not find uh, like a, a a monster bike on a 250 that was like actually close to his real life bike um, I feel like the graphics on this are as close as you're uh, you're gonna get in the game and not being a skinner myself I couldn't really just uh, <laughs> just chuck something together but I think it does a job gives you uh, gives you a good idea I, I love this Renan gear by the way um, I really actually wouldn't mind uh, copying some of that in real life. It's uh, very, very sexy. I do like it a lot. Um, although, it, it might just be my ignorance. So I don't know if it's a uh, it's an American thing. But is it like new new? Because I've never heard of it until recently. Um, but yeah, they seem to be uh, seem to be popping off. I mean, when you've got like uh, a rider like uh, like rider <laughs> wearing it, it's always going to uh, get some attention. And uh, I remember, oh god, I can't remember how old I was, um, but. I feel like the majority of you watching this has probably watched uh, the Heart of Motocross. The uh, well, I don't know if it was DVD. It's, uh, I remember watching it on YouTube. Someone uploaded it to YouTube, and I watched it years and years and years ago. It's one of the videos that I always go back to now and then if I want to give myself a bit of, of motocross motivation. Uh, it's probably one of my favourite motocross uh, films videos ever. Um, and I remember seeing Ryder on that, um, and that was the first time I ever saw him when he was the youngest person to win at the res. Uh, I think he was on, was he on a Cobra back then. I want to say. I feel like he was. Um, it, it just makes me feel a bit old now, seeing how we've come uh, come full circle, and he's just on the on the verge of uh, of going pro. Um, but I'm I haven't actually paid a whole lot of attention uh, to him, to be honest, uh, through years as he's been working his way up. Let me switch into first person for a little bit, just to uh, just to appease everybody. Everybody has their own preferences on uh, on first or third. I can never win. Um, yeah, I haven't watched him too much, so uh, you have to let me know down below how he's been doing recently. Uh, all I know recently is that he's just uh, he's been dominating the scene, um, especially he's been doing that moto combine that I saw they was all talking about uh, in the last AMA round at Fox Raceway, uh, the second one. Um, shout out Dylan, by the way, very happy that he won the championship. I know uh, some of you uh, you Americans won't be too happy about that, but I am biased, I'm European, so uh, very, very happy for Dylan. Uh, it's a little bit of a shame the way that, uh, that Ken kind of gave it up, I'm guessing he was suffering from the heat a lot. Um, it was an interesting, um, interesting race all around actually, I thought that was. Very, very happy for Jet, you know, I'm, I'm a Jet fanboy, I feel like most people are. It's so good to see him, see him doing well. Um, I feel like, fingers crossed, unless something goes absolutely drastically wrong at the final round, I feel like he's got this in the bag, which for someone of his age is just insane. Like, I, I sit in Discord when the races go on with uh, some, of my, some of my friends, and we just sit there and just can't believe the uh, like the technique, and talent at that age. It's just it's disgusting. It's so natural on the bike and everything's so fluid as well. And I mean, when when I think of someone like young and fast, you, you expect them to be like a little bit erratic and out of control now and then. Uh, almost a bit like uh, do you remember when uh, Master came out and randomly uh, run at one at Redbud the other year on the uh, on the Yam? Like he was just a bit bit wild and, and erratic. I expected to be like that, but it's just so crazy to see that much uh, that much natural talent and uh, I hope he's going to be around for many more years I hope he doesn't get into like a serious injury that stops him from riding because I feel like he could uh, easily be one of the greats but this video is not about Jet it's about Ryder so uh, back to him 
Um, I have not paid much attention to him at all recently. I don't know if it's just uh, because I, I don't get to see a whole lot of the uh, the American TV, American motocross. I don't know how much of the AMS is broadcasted. Um, I usually just watch just watch the AMA stuff, really, like the, the professional stuff, uh, more so than uh, the uh, the GPs. To be honest, I, I don't find a whole lot of interest in the, the European racing at the moment. Uh, I suppose it, I just I don't think I've followed many of them. Uh, there's I started watching it for a couple of years, and now there's all these new riders that I've never heard of before. Uh, so I've just got like no attachment to any of them, but I do love the American series. I'm very, very interested to see how Ryder will do when he first gets into the, uh, the pro ranks. Um, yeah, I suppose it's it's almost like a bit of um, like Adam since Rulo esque. You know, he's been with uh, been on the Cowie since a very young age. Uh, he's got a really good team backing him. Um, I'll be interested to see if he comes out swinging like Adam did. I know Adam obviously was so so fast when he first. Uh, moved into the pros but then he always got unlucky of injuries um, I mean nobody likes to see the uh, the new the new talent the new hype uh, injured at the start so I'm hoping uh, Ryder doesn't do that I hope that he takes his time a little bit and uh, eases his way into the racing but I feel like we're going to get very very uh, lucky with some of the talent coming through uh, in the next uh, next few years or so obviously uh, Deegan will be uh, moving up soon in a bit got uh, Ryder is going to move up eventually and I feel like this is just going to make the 250 class so fun to watch. Um, and hopefully nobody, uh, nobody nobody moans at me for saying this, but um, at the at the last Fox Raceway round, I almost found the 450 class a little bit boring. I didn't feel like there was that much going on. Whereas the uh, the 250s is so much fun, and um, I feel like there's always room for like shockers and surprises. And I tell you what was cool that I was very very happy to see in the last round was uh, Varese getting that that uh, that. Husky ride, very very happy for him. He's he's had such a good season, and I'm glad that it went to him. I mean, there's probably a handful of guys that uh, that ride could have gone to, but I think he done very very well and uh, stepped up to the plate. And um, yeah, hopefully it's uh, hopefully it makes someone another team notice, and hopefully he'll get a, a proper ride. I know he gets that little bit of support uh, from KTM, but obviously nothing like the factory teams do. I, I, would, I was always curious to kind of see just just what a difference like a full factory bike means uh, obviously he does he does well you know he, he ends up around like 10th or so usually and I know there's a, there's a couple of people out injured now but to, to go and get those finishes on your first time out on a factory bike it's, it's got to be such a huge difference right that difference sorry to ride one of those um, obviously some car will never get to experience in my life but you know it, it would be it'd be interesting to find out uh, someone else who I think really deserves like a, a good factory ride um, is uh, Dylan Schwartz. I think he's had an insane season on a Suzuki, um, so I'd really love to see him get, get some more support. But obviously, there's there's only limited um, limited numbers. Uh, it happens. I feel like some of the some of the factory guys have uh, been a bit disappointing this year. Um, maybe like I suppose maybe Fry. Um, Faulkner's trying to rebuild at the moment, so I can't be too critical on him. But I feel like he's uh, he's he's not been performing as expected. Um, very happy with uh, Joe. Joe's been doing really really well. Uh, um, I do like Joe as well. I just like his whole um, his whole attitude. I feel like he's a really cool guy, a nice, quiet guy. I think I, I, I relate myself to, to Joe a little bit. Um, never, never the most aggressive out on the track. Just uh, just does what he needs to get done. I jump over this, or is that? Oh, cool. I had collisions for a second. Let's, uh, let's hop over here. Let's try and do try and do a lap on the supercross or two. Um, but uh, going back to the start of the video, obviously. When I first started this whole YouTube thing, I, I, I was saying that like I wanted to uh, get a video, a video a day. Um, obviously, it's, it's a lot easier said than done. Um, try my best. I think today I will be recording this one, and I want to do one more just to just to get ahead. <laughs> obviously, I've been a, been a busy person. It's uh, it's Sunday for me now. I had a nice nice lazy day yesterday on the Saturday, uh, recovering from Friday night. Friday night, I went out uh, went out drinking with the uh, work crew. First time out properly drinking in like the year and a half since we've been into lockdown. So uh, try not to go too mad. You know, I only had, only had a couple. <laughs> the, uh, the, the ride home was interesting. We have uh, basically we have a taxi that just picks us up and or drops us drops us off and takes us home. Um, and I was sharing the taxi with uh, two other people, and one of them we had to pull over like two, three times on the way home because they was going to puke. And uh, it was it was all good fun, all good drama. It was nice to get out and uh, try and learn how to socialise again. Well, there's probably some of you that are in the same boat when you you haven't been out properly uh, talking to people in a, in a year or so you lose those uh, lose those social skills well those social skills that we have anyway you know we sit in our room and play video games you can't have too many <laughs> unless we're making bloody call outs and, and shit like that then we then we talk a lot but uh, no good fun overall it was nice to uh, 
have a have a little bit of a break, chill out, uh, have some drinks with some friends, and almost get like a sense of normality back again. You know, it's been been so long since I've been able to do that, and uh, I'm also very excited. So I went uh, riding last weekend, uh, which I was very very happy with my speed wise. It's just the uh, just the stamina that's doing me. In. Uh, so I believe I'm also going riding again um, the weekend, well, the weekend coming up when you're seeing this. Um, I don't know where, uh, I think it's all going to be a bit weather dependent, it's been in the UK, it's always a bit hit and miss when you get to the weekend, if it's going to be absolutely torrential rain or bright sunshine, um, it's obviously different tracks handle the conditions differently, so I'll, um, I'll see you closer to the time where I'll be riding at. I know every time I say I'm going riding, people always ask, like, where am I going? <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, can't answer that one at the moment, I'm afraid. But yes, very excited to get out, get going and riding a bit more. Uh, I've just got this like real sudden urge to just really get back to it and, uh, and get good on my bike. I always go through stages of riding like a couple of times in a month and feeling good again and then uh, not riding for a few months and just losing any sort of flow. Um, so uh, yeah, key thing for me is just to find that, find that flow again, especially over the jumps. I feel like I, I'm a bit stiff in the air lately. Uh, when I used to, used to ride my 125 and used to ride most weekends, I just felt like I'd flow so much more and uh, could move the bike about a bit in the air. Um, but yeah, I feel like I, I straight air so much nowadays. I don't even want to, uh, don't even want to try throwing it out. Just feel like I'll end up looking like a bit of a goon, just doing a bum whip, not an actual whip, and getting the back end out at all. Um, but yeah, that's something for me to work on, something to look forward to. And um, yeah, I think that will uh, that, that might uh, wrap up this video for me today. Actually, um, I shout out to uh, Pay. Uh, 2021 who made this running gear. I think it looks absolutely sick. Uh, I might even make the uh, suggestion to, uh, to McChicken see if we can run this for the, the McCreations team because it does look pretty naughty. I like the uh, font the rider goes with as well on his jersey. I think it looks really cool. Um, <laughs> in comparison to like, uh, like Jet's name on the back of his jersey. That's the only thing I don't like is how he's got the uh, how he's got Lawrence written on the back of his. I think it looks a little bit weird. Um, but yeah, hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, well, glad to be back. Hopefully I'll um, be able to get back on the grind like I, like I want to and be, uh, be a bit more consistent and that'll do it for me uh, leave a like if you enjoy the video and feel free to subscribe if you haven't done so already um, I feel like 10k by the end of the year might be pushing it a bit now but I do still want to uh, still want to try and get there um, can only do that with your guys support so yeah subscribe if you like what you saw plenty of more to come and uh, that'll do it for me have a lovely morning afternoon evening wherever you are tell to catch you guys next time peace Got bad shit all up in my mind right now. Fuck it, give me a minute and I'ma let it all out. I don't give a shit about an opinion. Be another dimension when I wake up, wake up, wake up. Oh, bitch, it's time to fill the cup. Got no fucking love. I feel so stuck on my luck. Get fucked.